availing yourself for the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Uh, we praise your name and we worship your name. Holy Spirit, come and take control. Come and speak to your people. Come and lead us today in Jesus' mighty name. I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Another blessed day. And we Amen. thank God for giving us the opportunity to be alive once again. We are very gracious. We are very gracious. Yesterday, we were talking about so many things. We said that the kingdom's work is not for only a few people, but it is for us all. We talk about how we should humble ourselves and all that. And we were able to complete the, the chapter 9 of the gospel according to Mark. Today, we'll be continuing from the chapter 10. So, we will be... Uh, let's finish talking about the question, the question St. Grace asked yesterday. So that we continue on from there. Amen. Yeah, Papa, before we go on to the question, I uh, since the other two are not here, I just I wanted to say something about the last okay. part that we read before. Um, okay. Before I interrupted with my questions that was bothering my mind. So that maybe by the time we uh, talk about a little bit about that, they may have joined in that. So they can also oh, okay. contribute or we can even start and in the middle if we see that they've joined we can chip in that and move on in um please uh it's not like i want to drag us back but um i just want to draw our attention to something um the last verses that we read um okay. um i'm someone that uh, after reading over something i go back to it again you see, as the scripture says that the word of God is refined seven times. And anytime you go back to it, there's something the Lord will add up. Anytime you go back to the same verse or the same chapter, the spirit of God keep adding up to it. Now I'm looking at the three things that Jesus touched on. I believe it was three. He said, your eye, if your eye causes you to stumble, pluck it out. That's not. And then if your hand causes you to uh, stumble, uh, cut that off. If your foot, if your foot is causing you to, um, so from 43 says your hand, for it's better to go into, enter into uh, eternal life crippled than to go two hands in the unquenchable. And then he came back to your foot in 45. And then he said, in 47, your eye. So your eye, which is like the gatekeeper for the whole body. Re remember, do, do you remember, if, if anybody was here with us when we were doing the, the book of Matthew, or anybody who has read the gospel of Matthew, I believe chapter six, Jesus said that the eye uh, helps the body to see. So if the eye is blind, how what, what kind of deep darkness is a person? This is touch on that. If anybody ha, uh, uh, remember that kind of part, that particular passage that Jesus said, said, how deep is the darkness in a person whose eye is blind? See, our we, we, humanity, and let me take us back to Genesis chapter three. The Bible said that Eve took a second look at the eye. She, uh, the Bible said that she looked at the uh, 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 whatever the fruit was. I don't want to use the word apple. She looked at the fruit and it was pleasing to the eye. So when I look deep into this kind of teachings from Jesus, if I compare it to our time, the kind of messages we hear in the churches. This is really something that if a, a, a minister of our time, 
is talking in this manner, they are really going to criticize that person. And I believe strongly, most of us are going to tell that person, the person is being too extreme. Can anybody agree with me on that? Is, is Jesus not talking to a scream, a scream? If you are literally telling someone that if your eye is causing you to sin, plug it out. Are you not being too extreme? Because um, in our time, they even have, uh, uh, have you thought about it that way? That yeah. he really spoke in an extreme manner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends, it depends on how you are. Uh, your understanding in it uh -huh. it depends on how you but he it. literally he he's saying that if you're i, I know <laughs> that the but we need to encode it i mean we need to decode it so do we but he using this kind of analogy say if your eye is causing you to say pluck it out if you take it to a lay person to analyze this they will be <laughs> like is this man wicked or is is he an extremist like like we have the Muslim extremists who want to go and put bomb on themselves and go blast somewhere in, in the Israeli camp. You know, mm -hmm. they are ready to die and go marry 10 virgins in wherever it is they believe they are going. You know, is, is Jesus being too extreme? This is Bible study. We need to analyze it. Was he being too extreme? Was he, was he exaggerating about hell? Because, and, and thinking deeply about this, it, it 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 makes me understand the magnitude of the pain and the suffering in hell that Jesus will go the extreme to tell humanity that that literally cuts off your hand so you don't end up if if your hand is infected with something that will make the whole body be cast into the lake of fire. Cut that hand off. In other words, just have one hand. Be, be a disabled man who are on earth. Just so you, you can make it to heaven than to have the whole body that is infected because the hand is infected. So now, now in, 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 in this time where really all signs that is around us is pointing to everything that is going to happen in Revelation, which has started unraveling itself. We see this coronavirus, even last three days or so, there's been a new strand of the virus that has mutated. So it brings the, the, the prophecy, uh, what, uh, Big Brother Sadhu was talking about, that what is going to happen in 2021 is, is even worse than this COVID-19. So it's like, Gradually, it is unveiling something worse, and we're going to plunge into it deeper and deeper, telling us and making us aware that indeed the second coming is really at hand. And this is Jesus talking. He said, If your eye is going to make you last, it's going to make you, because whatever the eye will watch from YouTube to Facebook, trust me, it's going to be in your dream. Most of us end up dreaming about all the things that you watch. From morning to even what we are we have been addicted to and our eyes are poking and watching and watching and watching and he being god and knowing very well how all this affects the soul how all this affects our relationship with him he said take that thing out cutting something that to me is kind of like violence you you are forcing something completely out of the scene Cut it off. So that 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 really should teach every child of God who is heavenly minded that hell is nothing to joke about. Hell is nothing to joke about. And whatsoever may be that which can really hinder you. Don't don't look at the the temporary enjoyment and the temporary benefit whatsoever. Take it out. It's not like, he didn't say, oh, take it out gradually. He said, cut it off. Meaning you have to do something. So those many people who have been giving themselves this excuses that, oh, little by little, I'm working it out. He didn't say work it out. 
He said, cut it off. So it is real, to me, it's very extreme. It, and it's really, really an urgent call. It's really an urgent call. And then uh, looking at the verse, uh, the last part where he talked, he said, for everyone will be salted with fire. Will be salted, with, for everyone will be salted with fire. So all of us being in Christ, if we claim that we have this faith built in Jesus, that faith will be sorted. That faith will have to go through its design purposely for that person. It has to be, uh, uh, it, it has to go pass through that trial that proves the faith is genuine. And I remember one brother we used to fellowship, Edda Hayford. He used to tell us, one night he, he preached, he said, if your, if your trials and your temptation, if you are not going to any of that, pray that you, 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 you are tempted, you are tried, so that you know whether you stand or you fall. That is how we prove all these Bible studies, all this prayer, all this number of times we've been in the church. If nothing is proving what is in us, then we really can't be boasting of any faith. Hallelujah. We really cannot Amen. be boasting. That's, Amen. Personally, that's, that's how I understand this. When that, see, it's easy for me to come and sit here and come to church every day and run my mouth, blah, 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 blah. But when the mountain of temptation and tries to come right from, right from my home, quell through the ministry, and into any other aspect of my life, my extended family, whatever. How I take it, how I react, how it is dissolved or resolved or hanging or whatever, really proves to Jesus if everything that I've been speaking about, I really mean it or it has really transformed me. And that goes for everybody, every child of God. Whatever you are passing through today, all the words that we are uttering from our mouth, and I've heard worse. I've heard worse. I've heard so many people, and sometimes you listen to them and you are like, wow. And you really thought that person had faith based on the actions you've seen them in church, you know? So Jesus said, we will every, for everyone will be what? Salted. Everyone will be sorted with fire. We will be sorted with fire. We all know fire is not a joke. So it's not like uh, God is going to let us pass through uh, uh, hell before we go to heaven. No. But that trial, that fury that the enemy is throwing at us, with the permission from God, of course. Why? Because God has to know where we stand. If we are just lip syncing, <laughs> lip singing, like some people go to stage, the music is playing behind the scene and the mic is muted and you can you you think they are singing it, but they are really not. <laughs> they are really not. It's just the background thing. So are we just making background noise? Or oh, the word has truly reformed us and we are really a transformed being inside out and not just blabbing in the church. And if Jesus is looking down every minute, every second, for those who are his, is he really seeing us? Then we'll be sorted with fire. So every minute and every moment of our lives, we, we, we ought to think about this. Put yourself on the scale of God. I have to, every hour, I'll be putting myself on the scale of God. And I'm asking. And you truly, you alone can answer that genuinely. Because nobody is there in your home with you. Today, almost, almost all churches are virtual. Those, even, those who condemn it from the beginning now, Corona has forced everybody most to be virtual. Maybe in Ghana now they can go to it, right, Father? Mm -hmm. I guess they can go to inside the physical building. But deep within, the, the church starts from uh, our bedroom chambers. 
right. what we do there, it proves. So if nothing really is going on, God doesn't take it serious. No sorting of fire is, is, uh, is, is happening. Then we can't really put ourselves into the, the group of the saints. And then we are just real jokers. And then we are just self-deceived people. And that's one of the dangerous things we can do to ourselves, to be self-deceived. The day that the Holy Spirit said that to me, I was like, my heart was like, boom, 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 boom. It was like, <laughs> Ghana, boom, so like that is about to turn off. Self-deceived <laughs> is, is a very dangerous. The Spirit of God told me that when I, I decided to meditate upon the book of James. It's in James chapter 1. Say they are self-deceived. They look at themselves in the mirror, then they forget. So salting with fire is very crucial. But if 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 we are not able to pass through that trial, then it will be a waste to God. May God really help us um, overcome that challenge. May God really, the Spirit of God always remind us that we are in that stage of being salted through that fire. And whatever we are passing through, may we have the ability to stand and not sink in, not pass through the sea and sink in. No. So uh, we are continuing. Uh, thank you very much, Saint Grace. We are continuing from the chapter ten. Chapter 10. Yeah. 10 verse 1. Mark chapter 10 verse 1. Jesus then left that place and went into the, the, region, the region of Judea and across the Jordan. Again, crowds of people came to him and asked and as was his custom, he taught them. Some Pharisees came and tested him by asking, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? What did Moses command you? He replied. They said, Moses permitted a man to write a certificate of divorce and send her away. It was because of your hearts were hard that Moses wrote you this law. Jesus replied, but at the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, let man not separate. When they were in the house again, the disciples asked Jesus about this. He answered, anyone who divorces his wife and marries another woman commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another man, she commits adultery. Okay. Um, I am reading the key to Marco Asempa eti du nimu ba kukusi edu mienuno. Na osori na osori free hoba yudi ya family yo dene jano ha na ngro fo ekuku bo bo awa na no ba na chambio na sedi oyeda no o chechre won bio na for si fo no ba bi bisa no se oberma wo ho kwan se oja na yira na 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 ode so na he na obua se won se e de na mo si share mo no na o kan se Mosi ma kwan se onchre awa jaye ngoma emano na onyaye no na Yesu bua se won se na akoma din ti na otre sa ashedi yimo amu na na ifri ade bo infiti ase no obere mane oba na onyankopon bo won ye nti na onipa bija na eja nene na ho na ode ne ho akobo ne yere ho na wonbe nu akoye ohonam kro enti di unyankopon di abom no e ma onipa entity mo na owo fie no 
na sian fo no bi sa no asem no abio na o se won se obi ara obi ja na yire na obe ware ofofro no na wa se awade oba no fm na se oba no nso jae ni kunu na oware ofofra wa se awade amen so this is actually talking about divorce 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 the pharisees came to test jesus they came to test jesus and the question was is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife pharisee for no be so yesu hwe e fa ware ho no mo question na ne se e wo ho kwan ni se oberima jai ne yire ana e wo ho kwan se oberima e jai ne yire ana ha twi no se oberima wo ho kwan se o jai ne yire ana so this is the question on board this is the question on board and jesus asked them so what did because they were using the laws of moses so jesus asked them what did moses give you or what is it written in the in the commandment and they said moses instructed us to give a certificate just a certificate so that we can we, we can we can we can continue with our life ai <laughs> you just give a certificate so that you 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 just file a divorce and go your way if it is happening today then people will be giving certificates wow <laughs> so you see and jesus told them that it is because their hearts were hardened is because their hearts were hardened you see the law that moses said that the truth for truth and eye for eye it be it is because of their hardened heart they were they mm-hmm. were distracting moses too much they were distracting moses too much so the, this It's this so old man the, the, this old man was very tired of them every day <laughs> they were complaining give us food you we want water. we want to eat uh, and we, we we so they were destroying him too much that is why when <laughs> jethro came he said hey then you die early this is your people they are going to kill you <laughs> so you have to choose <laughs> you, you, you have to choose uh, uh, executives over them you have to choose <laughs> executives over them so that you are going yeah. to be relieved from your work otherwise they are going to kill you how can one person be leading a, a multitude of people a, a whole they weren't just multitude they were stubborn thousands. stubborn multitude stubborn <laughs> multitude <laughs> uh god did so many miracles in their sight yet when they mm. enter into temptation or they, they they face trials they will be talking as if they haven't even had an encounter with god before so the people were very very stubborn so in a nutshell we are not supposed to just give a certificate and then we 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 divorce our wives we divorce our wives as some people are doing it even today at first when you marry someone i mean when you you buy someone and you put a ring on the person's and it it will be very difficult to divorce the person but today it is very very simple it is not a guarantee that your husband cannot leave you or your wife cannot leave you at first it will be very very difficult to see a divorce but today it is normal they can marry today and the following week they will say we are tired mm-hmm. we are tired of the marriage just one week you are tired of the marriage but you you said for better and for mm-hmm. the rest in good times and in bad in bad times till death and all that but you couldn't even it is because of how we enter into marriage <clears throat> how we enter into marriage and the reasons why we used to to marry someone that is the the, the problem that is the problem 
Aha. The American in a nessay. Not Israel for a more alcoma editing. A may also a day for an cancer. A more Moses in the door. And then Moses CC or China Moses CC or China Moses CC and then. And they say, 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 and the mammoth is the a liberal crane, a ye, a coma, a coma, tear, a can send me chum crane in the crown's orchica. And when a man who can say, be bored cry, when he be never called baby, and one no, you have another catcher, me, or be cow, I can be now so called baby. Why? Because of the stubbornness of the people, and Cofono, a coma primly, or more so, the entire mass are women by. Ain't it most is catch on say, say over now we de hawa pe crata nefamano. I actually say on in a jai be be a video dance yes, on in a jai and one in a call baby. And I yes to air can say a year or more I come and pin me or my sword in tia and unti ne man a ban sa na said you nyan coupon a can boom pan de and ni quang say anka ubi it to me at it. So for no reason shall a man leave his wife. You don't just have to leave your life for just mere reasons as some people are basing on in this our modern world to leave their, their wives. You see, when the moment there is a divorce, it also have a negative effect on the the children as well it will be having an effect on you both physically and spiritually and the children as well and the children as well you see that the lives of the children will, 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 will go astray they will not be having mother care or father care and single parenting and all that so it will be distracting the children in one way or the other so god does not our Lord Jesus Christ does not agree with divorce. Does not agree with divorce. If it is not a severely something that you are passing through, you don't just have to, to leave the marriage. So my question here is that, can we file a divorce? Can we file a divorce? And my answer will be, it depends. It depends. It depends. In my locality, there was a man, he was a very good man, but after marriage, he turned to a drunkard. He turned to a drunkard and he was beating the wife. He was, he used to beat the wife with no reason, with no reason, unreasonably. He will be beating the wife, he will be beating the wife, he will be beating the wife. And people were saying, were advising the the lady, a very young girl, to to move on, to move on, because it is dangerous for you to live with such a person, someone who will be beating you. It's like beating when when he goes out and things didn't go on well for him, he will be bringing the blame on you, so he will be using you as 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 a, a stress release as a stress uh, release. So when it becomes intensive, intensive, you can leave the, 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 the room and then, but you, just, you don't just have to, after praying and all that too, you just have to leave the room before he kills you, before he kills you. Because if you die, because of for better for rest, then I don't think it is very, very necessary to do that. It is for better for rest though, but depending on the action of the person, if your husband gets angry and he, he used to take a knife, take anything at all to hit you, just no, no, then you, you have to advise yourself. That is after praying and doing the fasting and all that for him some people some people their changing is very very uh, somehow so you just leave the room for the person 
find a place because so many people are facing challenges in their homes. And if they, they don't receive any advice, they are all going to be killed. They are, they are dying gradually, gradually. They are dying out of beatings. They are, they are, they are. Some, some husbands can, can even, they will be picking a knife for anything that their hands can even get. They will be using it on the, on the lady or the woman. And for that part, me, I don't, I don't agree that you stay at that place because, because it is very dangerous that the person can take away your life. I don't agree on divorce, on just a mere issue. But if the issue is very critical that it, it can take away your life, you are not divorcing the person. You are finding a place to stay, pray and fast for the person. Right. <laughs> And so, so our rejire so a son said, Nipa will repair or say me no no po or moon yim you no bio, nafi or ma ba bea barco or mo a ba bea barco. Na a more so cast a bernu bit me an anti album bra or moon ya dream crana. There be a son and bernu bit me an anti album and just on my dream crow. And tea say, Ya why we a monocodulum pimpins will be safe. Young copon. And for a giant, so you could do a pimp and so be say, I a kayaka de brebem. To say, Ukunumbufua, or to make chess a kind of a boar, nor de ball, or far bar, then the Nesabizum be a nor de ball, to say, or come on ten and a man, queer manner, or befia, now on a, or didn't any bring in a bursary or so, or didn't any bursary or so, or had the old general so, a de ball, a de coches a kind, a de coffa boar. The Nesabusum be a or the old born out in say, and ya see him and ya see him. And no, dear, maybe a man can jaw certain as our and I say, Minka say jaware, name him our cell paper by bitterna, na o bom pie a mano. A be a nanya sana naughty, meaning this son of Bukunity or Bellareno, say or bono or chase a kind and gong areno. Thank you, Pabai Bittina, the Abom Pire Man. Yes, sir. O be our chase a cow, chase a kind of beana, would be a chili say, yes, papa mo, bonny mo, yantana, or dear. And you'll be one say, Oh, ma, I was our hermo, and no, just a be our wa. Oh, we see our soa, or modo. And now, ma. Dada, a yinti papa mo bonny moon, the yam fast a kind of woe. Who could now ba a be bea keke, be bea keke, ain't in nona or the sick kind a barber woe, and no dear. Men can't shall say to Nancy, I worry and I say, and I mean Cassie Jay, I worry and so. So many people are facing these challenges. So many people are facing these challenges. We shouldn't divorce for just. A mere issue. Divorce has negative effects. Negative effects that we shouldn't, we shouldn't allow it to, to happen in our lives, to happen in our lives. But if it gets critical, then we should advise ourselves, find a different place to stay so that it is going to help us all so that it is going to help us all so because of the hardened hearts of the people they were told to give a certificate to give a certificate today the civil marriage they will just go to court and then they will they will give you a letter that we are filed for a divorce and and all that so the issue still stands. If it is not something critical that can take your life or something dangerous, then you don't have to leave the marriage. And don't say because of for better for rest when it gets to a critical period, you are still going to stay there for the husband or the wife to kill you. A man being so boom, 
enti no edru bra emu aye den pa edru bra emu aye den ebo otimi obetimi ehun se be kun die enye sana na oti e nanso ni pasesa enye sana na oti e die oti san ka nware no nanso ni pasesa wa se san dru mpempem so a wo twese kan wo so die anodin anodin di obefa bi anodin abo o chena ebe hu na second year na ye do cross better ade chen ye di ade abo otrim ade chen ye di aba abo ei zawa ye se die otna se ya o hobetimi achiro ibinum omo omo kokko to cross in sign no omo etimi de kata eba ebro mpe so mu jaware nan so be bia mi jina ne se enya sem tra bia sa kwa enya sem bia nti ene wo se ye ma sa de ko ni se nan so durum pam pam so a emu aye den pa ye hu ne se we die e betumi anje ye nkwa firi ye sa de a e wo se ye 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 fa ye ho adwen na ye hu ne kwa ya e be fa so a ye be so bo problem no that is ye ya bom pa ye na ye ya kwonchre ama um ya hu ya hu no enti kwan ya fa so ko ware ne so e ya problem e kwan ya fa so ware but ta enti ya de ware ne ya problem na so ye nya ware wi ya e timi ne ye kunu ni nya bre e bo mpa ye bo mana o timi se e ni pa mi no but obi a wo ba bi ene ni kire obi a wo ba bi ene ni kire they are living together o mu ti ba bi fa ku but o mu nya ba ko that is how some marriages are they are living they are not together they are just living together they are in the same room but in their minds they are not living together and that is when the enemy gets the chance to come in wherever there is separation the strength reduces but when the unity there is unity in marriage that is where you you'll be having the strength to move forward you'll be having the strength to move forward wherever there is this unity separation of minds and all that though they will be living together but their minds will be different than all together they will be thinking in in their own way and that is why the enemy has come into so many marriages and be destroying it they cannot pray together they cannot read their bibles together they cannot do things together the devil was able to deceive eve when adam wasn't around so wherever there is separation satan has an upper hand in that particular place and he is surely and gradually going to destroy sad things you can stay together you can you can you can be at one place but that doesn't mean you are together there is a blessing in being at one place and being together and being together when you are together that is when you be having the strength in your prayer in everything that you are doing it will be moving on you are right for be bre oh o mo te fa ko de nan so o mo nye ba ko obi a dwen e wo ba bi e da o mo ntumi mo mpa e mo the two shall become one me no no be ba be ba ko o mo ntumi e mo mpa e mo o mo ntumi nkan kan ba e bo mo o mo ntumi nya hwe mo no ane se o mo ete se oba eno oku no asa o ti mo se obi a dwen obi a plans en ko be a gene am live as obi e boy na bra bon ko that be this is not marriage when you are when you are so we should try as much as possible pray about our marriage because that is the devil's target at this end time you see that so many marriages are collapsing so many marriages are collapsing and when it collapses satan will be using that opportunity to destroy because there will be so many i want to say the bre i want to say the bre there there will be so many adultery and because it is a sin we will be polluting ourselves and the blessings and the glory of the lord will not be coming upon 
our lives. It will not be coming upon our lives. So the enemy is attacking marriages at this end time. And it begins from staying together, but not being together. So there are so many people, they stay together, but they have divorced a long time because their marriage is a spiritual unity. Mm -hmm. and, and when their minds when their minds got separated, they, and there is no understanding, there is no love. It's just like you are taking care of his children and that is why you are, you are still there and some few things. So you have divorced, you are still having the ring on your hand, but you have divorced spiritually a long time. So you are no longer together. You are no longer together and the enemy will be having an upper hand on such marriages. So if the two shall become one, you should be having a vision. One, you should be supporting your, your, your visions. In fact, it will be very good when the two is on the same track. They may be doing different works or different jobs, but you'll be supporting each other. You'll be supporting each other. That is where the blessings comes in. The blessings comes in. Don't go for baby or work. I wanted to say one so then so I didn't want to be a way to our real dad. And to ask him when you are real dad, I would say, Oh, don't be any of our real name. Oh, don't be any of our real name. See, you beat me, could you never be cross and me day? Made it made and not to me away any more, so you know. Yeah, the Aquacan, I'm sorry, the Mania Sans is son. According to baby, Bijano, may see, may see, ain't ye a goo or a real and a data? Ain't ye a be any, ain't ye a bema bonsam, and your coin, and your coin, and bah, not your per se, baby, obey. A good marriage is the one where the husband and the wife are on the same course. They are able to pray together. They are together with the children. They are able to read their Bible together. They do so many things together. And yet the way you are now reading is a cash energy. We are now reading a see. Now we do a see. Now just a quiet oil show oil. The two shall become one. But two in an casano. And some say, maybe a mayor, dear mayor. And a nine say, oh yeah, dear oil. Now just say, a hard jump. Now Bible say, the pedianing in I about, but a beer when you do my dear old dear. And you were set and I say, the per set, the per set the cook room, and you say, Media, my bremenco, Sana, our enity, and I say, Persemico, I dare need to be your coin, and I so see any amuse or miss my bremenco, and you are here, and the enemy. So it is like the parts of the body which is supposed to work together because the Bible says the two shall become one. But the eye, the, some parts of the body will not be agreeing with the other parts of the body. And if that happens, you see that there will be distractions in it. May the good Lord have mercy upon our marriages and sin trial. Good Lord, help you and bring understanding in it. One thing that is standing. In marriages that is causing all these understanding. The man thinks what he is saying is right, and the woman also thinks what he is saying is right. So everyone is having his or her own understanding, and everyone is trying to convince the other to understand him. That is where the problem, the problem comes in. And he has to be brainy our remo and a man our jay be bray eba. Obano per se bear money funny dear, and a bear man also per se obano a funny dear. When I bring a bear man, I can call my betty, men are mere bushy and nitty, men are mere bushy and nitty. O be a per se a funny dear, a bassa, na edi, edi, a gassa, cassa, name me my big rabba. Instead of them setting down, why should we take this? Why should we take this? Why should we do this? Why should we do this? They can never 
they will never sit down and think about their instead of coming together bringing their reasons why they should accept something and choosing the rightful ones that will be helping them it will not be happening they will rather be fighting over fighting over and i can tell you that when someone sees his husband coming the, the the person will be insulting the husband just that when the the, the husband come comes home he will be behaving uh, she will be behaving as if she loves him obua o hunse ne kunu ba ah kwasi papa abodan for ne neba no ah o didi na tama o bedru fi ana se o watene ni okay kan di nti wa ahe o o didi kunu tama o bedru fi ana o di o ti mise o di na tem kra o di na tem sa sanso ne mema ni bi nso eye eye so may the good lord have mercy on us around the area of mbonye sa de a Amen. Amen. Please, Amen. I am. I am. I'm giving the time. Na awale for na bemna. Ya yengwa le nsu ifife ni mu. Ya ma awale for na mrem. Paul Paul wasn't married, but he spoke about it, so it's it's all good. <laughs> Hmm. and is the spirit leading that makes you talk so so bless you hmm. the has mama mama kia is much is here so she will say hmm. her first please so then mama esther please can you start because eh. ah. <laughs> oh praise the lord <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, me dey me dey be fra fra bro for new tree be a dey be kwa moye me. But one thing I uh, I was say uh, as Christians we have to understand Jesus Christ he is the judge and he is a creator and it's more of why onu anka sa no o ba wi ase ase abebu ya tenti onu asem bi a o ba ya o kan ye no. That is why he's going to base on to judge humanity. and that's one thing that we have to understand and jesus christ he knew perfectly that when he created human being he said that there would not be no divorce into no catch him say into no abode am fit as e no no wa e wo hoda da say ni kwan say obarima be ja oba into no say obarima be fi na ja na ho no de no ho be pata na ire no wa ye ko number ko na yen pastor ka bibia na me se se ne modern world na ya ba no inyam ya sem no ye dia to baby na ye ye live your life e na ye hwe die be suit ye ono person live in a comfortable zone nti no no die wo ye no on fa what sem no nya hwe and a serious because mama ye kan no ye die ni ye ni right near the aja the tetefo ne kan ya ne ye de yeti abeto yetima be sin ne tede bia ye ka se se kristo ba ya anka ye nyina ne ke hwem ba hu mo bon ode ho ye mo bon wa ma ya da so ti ase nti o bi eni won niema bebre o bebre ka se na yesu ka se nti no eh ji se adwaman bo ba o hwem ma ti ase mo mark mini mati ne bi o kan ye de mark de anka bebi se ase ji se adwaman bo adi aba ko ehun to o se so berima ne mumu jai ne yire an eko ware obi fufura wa bo adwaman o ba ne so jai ne ku eko ware obi fufura wa no so bo adwaman and yetu enugu ye pastor ka se mi say trivia things adi bi a enye asim papa bi a no na wadi ejina so na odi ko o because kwan ya ye fa so wura mu ne ya wura ne yie ya ampa urade ya chira kwan obi ekwa na ye kwa ese ye nam jungle no obi ekwa na ese kwa na obi ya nam nwura mu na mu dimri ka mo aduma ni nyina ekwa na obi ekwa bi enti we did not seek the face of god enti ni pa jump into it enti no kwa no ko ho ase na se se na ti e na me nim na makwa wura mu a onti na simple no asere urade se hu mo bona de bo am na kire me kwa me mfa so aye de o ma satan kwa ya ma na betena mu dada 
but you need the grace of God for you to move on. You have no that's how I see it. And now I our answer is shut up and to no one's no bonnet for no so a kicking a me makese for you to fall from the grace in one no pitchna into wouldn't you good a ye or the same foundation where radium no one must say radia duma ube 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 our ring to be caught you will just fall from the grace and it's very serious into your say radis from my say our rejay dear yes and dear back home with you no. Mana mama can you pawn the crown on your wife or no crab radio whom the new cassassem? A radio whom for poor mucassassem. But be bridge us all our warrior, Wakobo Jamain to near radis who jet Jamain as well to meet the Jenny Pano. Meanwhile, no yes, so all can say, So wouldn't your form no one to me and find Chena? A better no swear, Jan, so the wood dear swear than actual. In tis a woundy and a form or cock or two so boy Jamain crana. What to me the channel kwa de obi to me natina? Cause a de even kwa den nam mama can so say, oh can you keke de eh easy, but ne ye no enough for me sir. But you so we know who Christ to de we was so we say I don't know broken heart ne de beba eh beba se bi waba to so kunu se bi se bi nyami eni money mu a oba na unu kunu bi ampamu ni oba afufra u ah o ye ni pa eh ba ye o ya. Over Cassandy, imagine us with the Jana Betu betrayed us a bat, said a radde, broken heart in your chin, said a radde, said a radde, mammy, I don't know what's a minty. Wammy, no mean to me, your man and co. Oh, your pastor can or sister, I'm quite yes, I would life a life threatening idea. You must hear a kind of say intimate partner violence. Say, if it's not like that, to the air, no one say your life is at stake. I know the empacho separation to me, but. That's not a divorce. You have to find a place to live. Said your bear your own mekun, a bra with time on swing, and coupon crabby travel about. The son said, One you swing, young son. And any pana aunt, and I rather them why I make a fair one. Amen. Amen. Yes. It seems so many people have accepted that their husbands. It's like they have accepted their, that their husband can can cheat. It's not like they they want it to, but they know that their husbands are doing it, so they have accepted it. So oh, say oh, coco coco cry, was saba into me the, me the oh, coco coco cry, was saba, and that thing is is very very hectic because it will be it will be destroying so many blessings. Mm -hmm. It will be destroying so many blessings in their marriage. Right. The blessings that you are supposed to receive in their marriage, you are not going to receive them. You are not going to receive them. In fact, this thing called marriage is very, very complicated. Right. Next. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hello, Saint Esther. Okay, she has muted. Yeah, uh -huh. okay. okay. for a few minutes. I'll come in. I will, I will definitely come in. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, we thank the living Jesus. Um, this divorce issue and this marriage issue, we can take a whole month every day talking about it. Trust me. Because there are so many things that needs to be ironed out or talked about, discussed, and, and needs understanding. Uh, in your children, in your children's play, 
But yes, uh, the, the Lord Jesus is going to have mercy on um, end time believers who are really heavily minded. Genesis chapter 3. <clears throat> I want to take us back to something. Genesis chapter 3, verse 6. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was delightful to look at, and a tree to be desired in order to make one wise and insightful. She took some of it fruit and ate it. And she also gave some to the to her husband with her. And he ate it. Meaning Adam was standing right there. But he was the only one the devil spoke to. The two of them were standing there. But he spoke to Eve. Because Eve was the weaker vessel. <laughs> he was the mm -hmm. one who was easily to be what? Convinced. And when he was when he was able to penetrate through Eve, it was so easy to get to Adam because Adam was standing right there. And Adam loved Eve. He had cleaved onto the wife. He just as God had commanded, Jesus said it in Matthew 9. 19, I believe. He said, and he shall cleave unto the wife, and the twin shall become one. Cleave. So there is leaving the extended family, and there's a cleaving to do these two things. Now, when it doesn't happen like that, that's where the problem is to leave the family and to cleave onto the new family. Now, a man and a woman coming together from different backgrounds. Both are to leave the extended family and cleave. See, the, the word cleave is strong in the sense that it becomes a stick together. So if something is cleaving onto something, it's really sticking together. There's nothing partitioning them. There's no air in between. It's very tight. If you look at the English uh, uh, interpretation of it, so where the situation whereby our pastor already touched on it, so a situation whereby the man has not really I'm going to say leave the mother and father, leave whatever was taught them, the culture, the whatever it is they they've indoctrinated the person with, leave it, leave that family. Leave that as and, and begin to create the new one and cleave on to. But here is the case the women, some of us, when we are going into the, the new family or the new household, we completely don't leave. The, even in the marriage ceremony, the, the parent of the, the, the woman will tell them, eh, eh, Yeah, if you get a eh, what loss. We have profit and loss in business. If there's any loss, give it to the man to pay. If there's any profit, bring it home. When you, when you gather anything, gold, diamond, bring it home. Don't give it to your husband. They, they see it, they give wrong, and the woman is going into the marriage. He, she hasn't left the family because everything, I'm going to use, the, the worst case scenarios, all the bad advice and have big truth. Everything is packed in their mind. So there are so many of the women, we are in the marriage and it's always about, my mother said, my mother said, my mother said, it's, it's, what, it's not what the, the husband is saying. No. They don't listen to what the husband is saying. It's what the mother said. So this, this portholes is now going to, um, Create uh, a big issue for the the thing that the the Lord has the law the Lord has made or set for the two that should become one. So there's never a oneness. There's never a oneness. And many of us we didn't know this truth, this revelation, and this understanding. So we complete. We have not left the, our extended family completely. We are trying to cleave onto the man, but we are holding on. It's like Rachel who has stolen her, her father's idol. 
her father Laban's idol, hid it, sat on it, and lied to the father that she, she's on her period. She has stolen idol. She doesn't want to let go her father's cause. And that is why she had to die on the way. Rachel never uh, uh, got to where Jacob finally settled. Rachel died on the on the on the way while giving birth to who? Benjamin. Anybody who knows this story will testify to that. So, and this doesn't just go to the women; it goes to the men as well. Because me, I've heard stories of where the the husband will be like. They will always compare their wives to their mother, their mother's shoe, and their mother's this, and their mother's. You can never. There are husbands, there are men that who always tell you, you will never match up to my mother. So these men too have not left. So this command from God said the man should leave. And when he said the man, it goes both ways. So we should leave out the city family and come and cleave so that the oneness will come. But it doesn't happen. But we have the 1% of that godly marriage where they got that this understanding and this deep secret revealed to them. And so they have been able to cleave on together. And so when trials and temptation come, both eyes are able to perceive and both are able to understand and both are able to deal, to deal with it together. But whereby... Some of us, we just went round and round and round before coming to the truth. We got married with the wrong motive, wrong understanding, wrong perception. And we never really left the extended family. We are still holding on to mother said this, father said this. And, and now that we know the truth, we are trying to undo the harm we've done, the, the foundation that was in True. laid right. We are trying to now lay it right and it has become a challenge. It has become a challenge. Most women have not realized this yet. But I pray they come to the, the, the knowledge of this truth so that we will plead for mercy and just like Mama Kuya said, we will have the grace to fix the wrong in the mercy of God sustain the rest of the years in that marriage. Many marriages are collapsing because this is the issue. These two keys is, are the issues. But one has probably come to the light, to, to that saving knowledge of it. The other hasn't. And the confusion is there. And it's going to be there till the Lord brings deliverance to the other partner. Because just like Emo said, two cannot work together unless they agree. And the agreement is not happening. So it will not happen. It will not happen. And peace will never reign. There could be temporary peace here and there, but it still will be wavy, wavering and wavering. The mechanic says, everybody, if no one is not going to be able to According to Genesis 3, it says, No moon and no moon. And so, a man, you are so meha, not in Chennai, Jedi, and Chennai, I come up down. And Chennai, you emotions me, and I'm missing my cafra. My year, you know, Eve, I soon not on something me a cassafi. No cassach any win, or G, Bible, so or do we and I know Danny Manicum, I know or canoe, meaning some Adam, you know. Dana, Dana Genesis 3 6 maker. Now, Adam, you know, now Adam, so or then I come on in the name of the farm. He would be a meeting, he would demand when to young question. It's younger say, Ewa ba. I didn't know you're missing an owner or don't know a dinner in Mukai in the oil day. No, Adam, no, no, Dina, I said, is you in a money bag, ma'am. But I'm missing day. Omo 
when the mirror says, I went, well, I hope it will move the grandma, crack, 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 or we are the good. Now, and then, no, yea, if ye may, the Alcoban say, ye free yen and the age, if she near the young one bed butter, ye were in a mere yer for number. Ye are quite near sister, or do so do. Your sister says, a advice. Hey, mommy, see, 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 I'm going to say, mommy, I'm going to pay. We need to go, mas we need to them. Hey, yeah, I was in a con. Uboka, farmer, we go. Montia, we need to get the fabra. We need to blog. We want to buy some. We are sassing them. We are not going to mess. I've been seen. I know what I'm saying. I've been seen. I ain't never had the feeling. We need to finish the the nyansa. Simple, we need to catch them. But <laughs> You <laughs> ndasoshe <laughs> Rahel. Rahel Jacob Pawan Jacob Don Odo Jacob Pawo of so did Jacob at you and so don't papa Laban or don't papa bosom so now ya children. Why was walk on O we are bosom maybe as then to mass at Nash. Ne papa chase you woman. But was here. Jacob, what if you know when ya when ya can of a so called Name Bunyam is what for ye or me near yammy. Or see your most na Jacob no one him said we don't know na we are say ni e sa nya me kro na ko di nwo um ampa so Rachel owu wo kwa so owu Benjamin e no owu wo kwa so nti ya o mu e no de tu Benjamin din Ben Oni e se so wo no ya mu na no papa se sai din owu ya na no papa se sai din se e friend Ben Oni bi e be friend Benjamin Rachel et na e abusu no so e twan tro che ne papa se papa e me bu mi sa or sister, or sister, if he a bosom was the son, if he knew my two or the idea were in it, and he never got away. A weeny womb, if our baby bree a womb, because as I say, fee bosom with the eternity. As I say, fee in genuine a city of born entity, soon you might think you might come clean free riding. Let it hear in us, if you are in the meaning of a womb, yet you are seeing woo into a morning night, or my womb made. I brought you the air tanker. Roommate to be a don't yet a chimney half a wood, the any light burn a water bill, we should be any gross in a gentleman. A chim to respect to be yes, I must know beyond a good morning, good morning in him. Because I do at the time my own presumptions, I'm sure we are no more be a funny way to be a yes, the office. To be a be a sin in the Japadi on me too. The bush is like Bassa, Tantan time. Almost the same church you saw, so from the mean come as a be anti mean come. A be a swarm penny for you now. It is very sad. 
It is a very sad situation. It is a very sad situation. But I, I want to draw our mind to something in that in that uh, thing that Jesus was saying. He said that it wasn't so from the beginning. Right. It wasn't so from the beginning. So in the sight of God, and that's why God has to repeat it to the prophet Malachi. Malachi chapter 2. He said, I, the Lord, I hate putting away. And other versions call it, I hate divorce. I hate separation. And I believe that whatever God hates will not enter his kingdom. Media. That's one thing the Holy Spirit has made me to understand. So most times I would tell my husband, I said, if the enemy does all he can, then you permit it. And by any means, by way, because God hates it was me. I will stay. I will not go anywhere again. I will not even venture with anybody. I will sit still till Jesus comes because I don't want any trouble. See me hell. I will not enter there. My body, my soul, any hell, any be I want to use this platform to beseech every woman. That's true. That's true. I want to beseech every woman with the message of God. See, even if a man want to push you out and there's nothing you can do and they do push you out, if you can and you must, you stay, you stay without remarrying till Jesus can. I'm saying this because it is possible for women to do and even a man to do if they want to do it. The prophetess Anne in the Bible. The Bible said that in the young age she got married, but not too long the husband died. And she dedicated her life for the things of God till her old age when she saw Jesus. And then she was blessed to be in heaven to go go to heaven. We can also do it. Mm-hmm. See, they, they have this uh, saying that you can never stop a bird from flying over your head, but you can stop it from landing on your head. <laughs> so, we will try, we are praying. Go save this marriage. You will do your, uh, your best as a virtuous woman who has now come to the saving grace of God. If you didn't enter with a good motive, now you know, you plead for mercy. Father, I didn't enter this marriage with good motive. Now I know better. Please have mercy on me. Forgive me. He's, Bible says, first don't want that. He's faithful and what? Just to forgive and to purify. He will purify you. To work out. And if you have done all that, because Bible says we should live at peace with all men. As, as it, it depends on us, we should live at peace with who? all men and holiness without which. So w- once you've done all, you've gone all out, you've done all, all that, all the submissiveness, that first Peter 3, verse 1 to 7, talks for the women to do. And still, the enemy let that person push you away. Heaven will bear you witness that you did your part. And from there on, if we would devote all our time and everything in doing the work of God, there'll be, there'll be, there'll be no time or no uh, moment for uh, any feeling or whatever, because your mind and body will be too busy doing the work of God. And by the time you realize, God will come and take you home to be with him. Heaven is a must for every saint of God. And nothing should stop us. Nothing should come between us and that heaven. I'm not saying go and push your husband away so you can go to heaven. It is not possible. But we must do our part with them. Do our very best as it depends on us with the strength of, from the Holy Spirit. And if all is said and done and still they allow themselves to be used, then you have done your portion. Heaven will witness that. Nobody is in our homes with us, but God is. And, he's, and the angels are writing everything we are doing. So we must, I, I want to encourage the women. It's not easy. 
as, as we stand right now, one of our sisters, the husband said he will not marry her again. He, she can move heaven and earth. He will not marry her again. And that he's going to be a billionaire in the next year. And he doesn't see the woman in it. In it. So the woman should pass and go. In this situation, what would, would you do? She's been asking me. I said, continue to pray. I am praying with you as well. Jesus is on your side. But if, if he said, that is it, then there's nothing you can do. You just have to go and live for the Lord. Do the work of God like crazy. So Jesus come and get you. There's no remarry. Some, somebody will take it like maybe you are forcing them. But trust me, if God, if God, if God hates divorce, then whatever he hates will not enter his kingdom. Whatever he hates will never enter his kingdom. Do your part and let God help you. Hallelujah. You may can say, heaven no ye ko. And you may be a yan ye. Ah, I say, eight put ye wa was in. I say, yeah, ye niam by your muslim. Ye may a woman in the ah. I say, would you say, I'm going to go to Mamma Hodin, Nadia Hobrasia, a cow. Now, oh, ye dear, Radia share, Mamma, see any. I have to go first, Peter, three verse one to seven. Say, you for Hobrasia, and you don't need me, or Namia Hobrasia, and ye have yours. I a day. Anya ajuni tachira. Na imu ponu, hiye ni nana amane saa. Yenke hu se, odifo ba ana, ba ibu se, oware ni nkete se abrin. Na, oware ni nkete se abrin, so ni kuni wuye mi. Ba ibu se, wani. Asofu ba chua translate, kakrana ikani. Amen. Aha, enti diye. Sinbizi kenye na nese, se yabu ni tofa. Ochoa se, e wose yitu miko osuro, osuro haini ni mo. Nti yama bibia nisi yon kwa yin. Sende, nisende ya oba ana eye yeno. Oware yi, entem, nisi ni kunu wui. Na wadi ni hon siwo, otu ni hon siwo. Ede ni hon ba afore ya ma eradi ya juma. Nisi nti yonya osuro haini ni mo kwa yin. Nti no, nisi bibi se yi, e si ya. Ya mo ya hon mo den se be ya. Nkwa ye aware se ye nti no. Ya mo ya hon mo den se. Ya beti na se. Ama erade. Ya beti na se. Ama erade. We will talk about this one more time. Then we will move on to the other verses. One thing that I have also identified. Is that when we are getting married. We pray a lot. But after the marriage. Then we relax. We relax. So if. If we get something with power, we should also use power to guide the thing. So if you are entering into marriage and you prayed about it, when you enter into the marriage, you shouldn't stop praying. You should continue in prayer. The American man say, "Emu be bre ya kwa already ya bon pa ya pa ya ya kwanchele ya sungwe rade so nzi nyanya nyanya wari ni wepe na fi ya jai empire boni na." Na yijai empire boni na nusu ya dia, mwa, mwa. And my question, which will be answered later, as we are about to go, is: Is it bad for a divorced person to marry if you are not the one who caused the divorce? Is it right for you to get married? Is it a sin? Is it a sin for a divorced person? To get married, if you are not the one who caused the divorce, so that will be that is my question. That is my question, and I don't think time is going to permit us. Or oh, we are having a short answer for it. Also, also we will answer, please. I mean, I mean, we will answer, pa. We will answer before we go. Also, we will say what you just said in chief. Your question. The American is a Yabonese. Diye ye jaye no. Ebe, ebe wari biye mana. E ye bwane se, diye ye jaye no no. Obe wari biye mana. E nyonu na e jaye wari yo. Ne moum. Ye jaye no. Wabwane hon mwadi ndi ya anzo. A ye ye. E ye bwane se, obe wari biye mana. First Corinthians chapter 7 verse 15. 16 and 17. 
First Corinthians chapter seven. But if the unbelieving partner leaves, Paul is speaking. He said, but if the unbelieving partner leaves, let him leave. In such cases, the remaining brother or sister is not spiritually or morally bound, but God has called us to peace. But how do you know, wife, whether you will save your husband by leading him to Christ? Or how do you know, husband, whether you will save your wife by leading him to Christ? Only let each one live the life which the Lord has assigned him and to which God has called him. For each person is unique and is accountable for his choices and conduct. Let him walk in this way. This is the rule I make in all churches. Apostle Paul is speaking. He said this is the rule he's making in all the churches. If your unbelieving husband or your unbelieving wife after you have tried everything possible, let them go. However, he didn't go and remarry. If you read up to the end, he didn't say, and after he goes, go and remarry. He didn't say that. So, I am speaking for myself and for those who are strictly heavily minded, not for just the temporary enjoyment on this earth, which is really temporary and has an age cap to it. I'm talking, I'm giving this answer based on the eternity enjoyment that I am thinking of. So I want to be selfish in my own right. Amen. Amen. Based. Okay. Mama. Based on um, based on God hating divorce and based on Jesus saying if they remarry they have committed adultery we will take what because Jesus is going to be the final judge according to Matthew 25 he said the son of man will come in, in, his, in all his glory and will separate the sheep from the goat and if Jesus has opened his mouth to say that and anyone who leaves their husband and go to remarry commit adultery against, he didn't give any excuse. He said they, they left the husband because it was no fault of theirs. Jesus didn't put any fault. He just put it plain. So he knew that there could be quasillion reasons why people will leave the marriage mm -hmm. and anyone who leaves the marriage and when you come to the book of Romans I believe chapter 2 if I'm not mistaken is that chapter 2 or chapter 3 Paul also speaks it emphatically that any any woman whose husband is still alive is legally bound, bound to that person so the person dies if I combine all these scriptures together, then I believe that based on what God hates, what Jesus said, getting clean, clean on to another person is adultery. And that makes it a sin. If, even if she didn't put that in full sentences, if you put it all together based, based on the words, the very words of Jesus Christ, and what God hates in Malachi 2.16, then God is not for remarriage. I believe we have bishops and whatever not that have set the example of remarriage. And so there are so many Christians that are really rooting for remarriage and all that, and they believe it's not a thing. But based on my heavenly conscience, I believe it is not right in the sight of God. The American is saying, Is it coming from my? Okay, I think it's coming from Pastor Evans. But I'm going to mute you for a minute and see. Huh. If you adjust your uh, speaker, I think 
an echo is coming from your end. That's everything. Mm -hmm. That's why I had to mute it for a little while. The other mechanist uh, uh, answer me, they man, me basically on a radius of me in Tiasia Mania. And me, I can heavy acquaintance to me, me, the Asha Margin Mutari, the Keneke, it was a Muraho. Then you go pon, a new master mocker for D for Malakai, a woman like I choose the same day, Minyami, the Chiria Wadiku. Na what on also as I can say, the energy what the be answer in Murana in one revelation twenty one. I can say all abominations, no, yeah, the big book, which even also mentioned that word adultery, na adultery, when you made one big book, a energy, a woman can come and who will heaven gate in it, you know, because. And I've been a young man, you say, where the young tron of red and black, young tron in bold letters in red, capital red. Adeba kwa unkunkun etsemi. That was Galatians 5, 19, 21, 22. 19, one okanya, obo bobo, eja mambo, bobo ina, o se ene di etetisa. Na hona na hongkoko chem, se di etetisa, ni se mbe bilishim. En wa sate se obi ebi enye me bizu, o se, uye uye siya, eka di etetisa anu. We just say I can do this, and it's taking me a while to open your eyes to see. Say, oh, never we, never we, but we do what, and I'm so open the bone here, didn't you? Not being a one making up the mind, but then I'm like, what's the new answer? I'm not being in. For see, we never we answer cigarette. No, any Bible, no. Yes, we cry out, and we we start crying to we we show into one in the way and throw say a bone. But any day, it is a new man be blessed. In the base on Yamia Semesi, yes, you can say you jan yiri, go away for fun, or boy jamet your ban, or ban and sujai, no corre or bema for fra, or boy jamain. Based on that, yes, you are, according to Matthew 25, 36 down, say, or bets na, a temu a a gem, now did the art na being kuminifa. Now I catch any fa for so or mumra. Nigerian team men join. So ono no se ni obejai na wako wareno abu eja mind dia na ni yama phone ni yadumbe bu phone echi dia eni na re marriage so we uja yako wale phone. Yentrono red e idie but based on yesu ni masema e yaboni. Inti no dia me heavy a jine a ma meki echi re mi no ni contribution a me person ni te kau amen. Amen. Uh, the first Corinthians chapter seven verse thirty one talks about um, remarried that is uh, uh, when one of them dies. But the verse forty also says <laughs> it would be good for you to stay alone. So the um, verse, please you have muted yourself. First Corinthians chapter seven verse. Um, 30, 39 or so, 39 or so, yeah, 39, 39. Uh, 39 say, a wife is bound to her husband by law, as long as he lives, the echo of a way in power. Let me too, Kaka. Mm -hmm. Let me say you are too close to your microphone, I think you are very close to your microphone. First Corinthians seven thirty nine. A wife is bound to her husband by law as long as he lives. But if her husband dies, she is free to marry whomever she wishes, only provided that he too is in the Lord. But in my opinion, a widow is happier if she stays as she is. And I think that I also have the spirit of God. I love Brother Paul when he speaks the truth in that manner. <laughs> Depending depending on the situation in which you find yourself, that is maybe you have children and all that. There should be a reason why you should enter into marriage. There should be a reason. If you can take care, you have enough um finances to take care of your children and all that you don't need help in some way or the other because marriage marriage is a 
it's a problem but if you enter into a good a good one and it is once in a in a in a blue moon it is not because of the reasons why we enter into marriage and the way some people marry before they marry we will talk about that one later so the reasons why we get married and all that is making this thing too complicated too complicated but we should we should pray and seek the face of god so that the good lord will help us uh, in our marriages amen our time is far spent and uh same uh, God bless you. I was going to say, Esther didn't like, talk to me because of time. Said, Pastor said all my contributions. Pastor said all my contributions. And Sister Grace also said all my contributions. So <laughs> I, I <laughs> uh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I was going to give right. a similar answer to what St. Grace said concerning the death issue. Like when one dies, you know, then mm. you are free to remarry. That, that was my understanding concerning that. Um, remarriage because mm-hmm. I also agree that you are not allowed to marry you know according to the terms of God but once the person dies then you are it, I think your question was um, if you are not the one that caused the marriage mm-hmm. the divorce yeah so even if you were not the problem it does it still doesn't change your status of being a divorced person yeah okay, you, you were not at fault but your current status is you are still a divorced person so you are so bound, according yeah. to the laws of God, you are so bound. So and so that person yeah. dies, so you are so bound. So I think the death and, part, and and then you'll be praying hard that the person should die fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, some people are doing that too. Some people are doing that. Uh, hey, they only have. Oh, 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 they only have. Me sao. Me in some me too much maybe me. A lady told me that she wants to catch her husband in 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 uh fornicating so that she can just leave him alone. Or be so chin is all bird jam I do here no no turn your bomb fire so but she looks me so bird jam. Send in a Bible mark fine say any over your mind the out to me giants any old oh who's any clue bird jam I just and so I say uh people are suffering so much in their marriages. May the good Lord help us. May the good Lord help us. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, then, oh, so for, I know our mm-hmm. time is fast, then, but this is very important. So, mm-hmm. that brings me to the question I asked yesterday. So, if a, a, a prayer person dream, dreamed that the partner is want to kill them, and they concluded that that person is demon possessed. It's a witch, it's a wizard. Is that a ground for divorce? Because that has come to my doorstep, you know. And so, based on what we are learning today, should that be an excuse that you dream that your partner is going to kill you? <laughs> and, you know, and then, we put another in chapter 10, everybody will see, Master, we see, Canada, they will see, they see, aha, and you know that. Nina <laughs> 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 
Uh, yeah, mm. I'll give a, a short answer about briefly. this one. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's talk about it briefly before we go. Th this is very complicated. This is a very complicated question. You see, you, you have been with your husband for a very, a very long time. And as a child of God, it is now that God is revealing to you that your husband is going to kill you. Maybe depending on what he's been behaving um, these days. Or, yeah, maybe he has changed. He has changed. That is why you can think that your husband can really do that. But dreams comes in three forms. One from God, one from the devil, and one from our own thinking, tiredness, or maybe the movies that we have watched and all that. So is it is the dream from God, from the devil, or maybe you've been thinking, you're think, you can think, um, for instance, when you are going to write an exams, it is for sure that you can think about the exams that when you sleep, you, you see that you'll be writing an examination. So you should be able to identify whether the dream is from God, from the devil, or from your own thinking. If your husband has been be beginning to behave in in an in an a manner that uh, it is not. Uh, his his way of life. Maybe you have identified that your husband is behaving in some way. So you could be thinking about it and that one too can lead into that kind of dream. But in all this, you have to pray about it. Then you have to pray a serious prayer for, for an immediate direction. Otherwise, if it is truly that God has revealed to you then you should know what to do. If it is about the devil trying to cause divorce, you should know what to do. If that is why you need to have an intimacy with God, so that when God talks to you, you should know um, the voice of God. You should be able to identify that this is the voice of God. Otherwise, you are going to take a decision that you are not supposed to. And demons can also use your husband's face to do that so this thing is very complicated but if you based on the actions your the recent actions of your husband the recent actions of your husband maybe he tried to beat you or something like that then you are going to think the other way so this is complicated there are so many things involved here what you need that i can tell you is to have an intimacy for a, a, a a good interpretation of the dream. Other than that, you are going to take a decision that will not help you. So that is my answer. Okay, God bless you. I want to come in a little bit. Um, okay. So <laughs> I actually experienced what you are saying. So I'm going to talk from my own experience. Uh, I had a similar dream. I had a, a same dream, I think, where I had my partner. I was actually fighting with this person. He was armed in the dream and he wanted to kill me. <laughs> and the way the struggle was going on in the dream, I woke up with a swollen thumb, like my, my thumb was swollen. At the point where that was my, that was the hand I was using to stop him from harming me with the whatever he was holding to kill me. So I, I knew definitely, and I, I agree with Pastor that it, uh, sometimes based on um, how the person is behaving. You may be thinking about some things like that and you take it into dreams, but this was not anything I was thinking about. It was actually a revelation that God gave me. But I wouldn't say that it's a cause for divorce, no. You know, you know, you know your husband very well or the two of you know each other to know who you are. So even if the person is possessed, it is still not a grounds for divorce because if God hates something, then he, he hates it. He's not going to permit it in any way. So whatever it is, it, it takes prayer. For such a dream, I mean, in my case, I know it was a revelation. It wasn't my husband trying to kill me. It was an impersonation in the dream. But even that, you know, I still wouldn't go attacking the partner or trying to say, you know, I don't, I don't I'm not going to continue with this marriage because my life is in danger. No. As a believer, even if that is the case that the person wants to, you know, get rid of me, I will still be praying about it. Because if God revealed it, then 
definitely God, God has an answer or God has a way out of um, that, that situation that you'll be going through. So I, I believe that um, if you have such a dream, even if you're not going through any situation in the home, if you have such a dream, of course, you still need to pray and get uh, an interpretation of what that dream is. And if you are, you know, you are that close with God, definitely God will have a way out of it for you. I don't think God will permit you to you know, divorce your husband or wife because of what they are, what you are going through in the marriage at that particular time. No, he meant it. He said it was never so in the beginning that, you know, they should ever separate, they should ever divorce. So there's no, there's never a grounds for divorce. There's never a grounds for divorce unless that person's heart is so hard in that whatever the situation, they just want out. And even that, you should not, um, you know, make the decision to get out. Whatever it is, you have to stay, but you have to pray and the Lord will give you the strength to go through whatever you're going through. It might just be a way of the enemy to separate the two of you. So it will take prayer. Amen. Amen. God bless you so much. So um, we, 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 we have to pray. We have to pray. Some people, when they are getting married, they will pray after they marry. Then, they will pray after they marry. Then, they will pray after they marry. Then, they will pray after they marry. Now the empire bo enya waria. The empire bo ne bo hovai. You see how it is. Mm-hmm. So you need to be praying for your husband. Said the ne ma bi eni abre no. Eni said the ma ma bi nzwe ni abre. Just be bi a hot. Be bi a hot. Get a kale hot sa hawa bi a sa kufa. Eradi hu ya mabo. Eradi hu ya mabo. Um. Um. I think that is our sin. Uh, 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 um, so let's continue at a time. She has muted a microphone and a video as well. So I am praying. I uh, uh, St. Esther, pray, pray for us. Pray for us. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless your name, O oh God, for this day and for all that you have uh, received from me today. We thank you so much for blessing us with 